Hey guys, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we are going to be creating this cool looking kind of bulky, light bulky effect inside of, photo, inside of GIMP. The effect is inspired by something you sometimes see in photographs when you get lights that are out of focus and they create these kind of awesome looking glowing, um, it creates a glowing effect where you get all this kind of interaction between different lights and we can replicate something like that inside of GIMP or we can go in a slightly different direction and create something just glowy and awesome. We're gonna create a new document and it's going to be 1920 by 1080. For this one I think I'm gonna go, go with 16 bit integer and I'm gonna be using the blend or the gradient tool to create a colorful gradient so I'm just going to use the four foreground and background colors there that looks okay so we'll accept that and now we're gonna go into the gmic plugin now if you've not used gmic before I'm gonna have a link to a video where I discuss it discuss the basics of gmic it's found under filters gmic and we're gonna be using an effect called Bocky this effect allows us to create the basic effect. So I'm gonna search for bulky and let me use an effect that I've already set the details for. There are quite a lot of settings there and I think it'd be a bit quicker to go with something that I've used already. So with this one, what we have is a bunch of these kind of glowy circles and you can see the settings here are pretty involved. What we need to do is to separate the settings into three parts. One here, which is the global stuff. Then we've got the starting parameters and the, what they call the ending parameters. These are gonna be whatever you want them to be. So basically you start off with the starting parameters and it creates a bunch of circles based on these then you have the ending parameters and it gradually grows the circles until they match the details here. So to make, make it a little bit easier to see what's going on, I'm going to take the number of scales down to one. These are the starting parameters. And if we increase to two scales, these are the ones that are found in the ending parameters. So you can play around with these and change the density maybe go ahead and change the radius just do whatever you wish to do until you get an effect which works well with the kind of document that you're on here i'm going to go with something that looks a little bit like this maybe i'm going to reduce the radius a little bit for the ending parameters you can see that the second set of circles just reduce in number so the main things are the scales and the density then the radius these will affect what kind of circles you get and also it will uh, affect how many circles you get if we increase the number of scales we get more in between and we can go all the way up to about eight or nine scales so i'm going to reduce this to about five and we'll reduce the density right at the beginning And here I'm going to reduce the smoothness to about 0 0.08. And that gives us that nice looking outline. And I'll reduce the outline a little bit. And I'm liking the look of this. So what we'll do is to output to a new layer. We're going to hit OK. And then I'm actually going to duplicate the layer. Now what you see here is we've got the original background and then we've got a new layer which is on screen mode. If I switch off the background you'll see that the new layer is pretty dark but on screen mode it will just basically light up the previous layer, the underlying layer. So we can actually duplicate this which will duplicate the effect of the screen mode. And what I'll then do is to go back into GMIC. And we'll 
try something a little bit different this time just to get a really nice glowing effect. Now you can see that I'm getting a really dark image here and the reason for that is because I'm actually working on the dark layer on top there. So let's cancel and go back to the background layer so we can get a much more interesting preview. Because we're outputting to a new layer, we don't need to worry about overwriting the base layer. So we can see what it looks like on the base layer. And what I'm going to do is to go to the ending parameters and we're going to increase the smoothness all the way to about eight. And that creates a really, really nice looking glow. Now we will output again to a new layer. And we'll see what this looks like. You can see this adds a really nice glow on top of everything. That's before and this is after. And you can just right click and choose new from visible. If you want a bit more color, we can go to colors, we choose hue chroma. And if we crank up the chroma just a little bit, you can see it adds a lot of color to the to the design. So you can see basically how this works. I'm going to hit OK and that's looking nice and sweet. So definitely give this a try. It's a lot of fun and it produces a lot of very different effects. As you can see from the original examples, you can get many, many different types of outcome. So that's going to be it. I hope you found this one useful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more. I will see you in the next video. Bye.